What's up everybody? It's Matt Taylor again. We have another quick how-to in Unreal Engine. Today we're going to be talking about linear interpolation and inverse linear interpolation. It's LERP and inverse LERP for short. Um, I have a timeline set up uh, already that's printing out a number as it updates and then when it's finished it prints done. If you want to know more about how to set timelines up and the things that they can do, there's another quick how-to so go on over there and watch that. If you're already comfortable with that, we're going to jump right in. So first up, we have uh, linear interpolation, which takes a number from 0 to 1, and, in, and it, oh, pardon me, it interpolates it to a number in a range. So let's go ahead and pull out this and type in LERP. There we go. And we don't want it in A there. That's the range. So it's the range from A to B, and it's taking an alpha as a driver here. So you can think of this as the number that's between 0 and 1. It's the driver. It's what's producing the output uh, based on this range. So let's say between 0 and 20. And we're going to plug that in there. So what we have here is we have a number between 0 and 1. And just to look at this timeline again, we have a float track that does go between 0 and 1 over the course of 3 seconds. And that is getting pumped into this alpha here. So as we go from 0 to 1, it's going to produce a number between 0 and 20. And it's going to then print out to the string. And when we're done, we'll print done. So we should see numbers from 0 to 20 print out as this goes from 0 to 1. Let's go ahead and close that and play. There we go. And lots of decimals. So that's working properly. Um, it doesn't have to, so quick note, this does not need to be between 0 and 1. If I wanted to like overdrive this, uh, I could go up to 2, and we would see that what it's going to do is it's going to interpolate that 2 as basically 200% oh, sorry, 200 of this range. So it should go up to 40 now. So let's go ahead and play that. I say between 0 and 1 because that's really what makes sense to me, but you can because 0 is the bottom of the range and 1 is the top of the range, but you can overdrive that if you want. All right, uh, so that's a LERP. Um, nothing too complicated about that. And its cousin is the inverse LERP, so let's go ahead and pull one of those out. And what an inverse LERP does is it takes, and we don't want that in A, it takes a, a range just the same, but instead of going from 0 to 1 and producing a number in that range, it tells you what uh, proportion of the way through the range the value is. So if I give it a 15 and we're starting at 0 and we're going up to 20, it's going to give me a 75% which comes out as 0.75 because it comes out as a proportion. So we'll go ahead and put that in here and what we have here is we're going from 0 to 20 and producing a number uh, based, I'm sorry, we're going from 0 to 1 and producing a number between 0 and 20 and then we're just asking, hey, what's that value uh, between 0 and 20 here. So we should go straight back to printing out from 0 up to 1 and then done. So if I did this correctly. There we go, yeah. Done. Oh, that's because I'm so sorry, guys. I left this going all the way up to 2. So that wasn't what I expected. Let's close that. Now we should see this going from 0 to 1 and then done. 1.0. Yep, there it is. So that's what a LERP is and an inverse LERP. These are really useful um, and these ranges don't have to be manually set either. These ranges can be set in runtime. So if you need to say, I don't know, um, you always want to move something a certain distance, but you don't know what that distance is, how far it's going to go, but you need to move it in three seconds. You can have your timeline running from zero to one. So that's from none of the distance to 100% of the distance and it'll do it in th that in three seconds and it'll move it from zero to however far you want to move it and that can be dy dynamically set at runtime. Um, inverse LERP the same, uh, these, this range can be dynamically set and there's just all kinds of uses for this. I hope this was helpful. Um, as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try and respond either in the comments or if it's uh, something that works for a quick how-to, I'll see if I can't respond quickly with a video. If you th found this helpful, let me know, um, like and subscribe, and otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.